Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educative videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe Photoshop. In this video, I'll show you some simple techniques to create the fire text effect to make your projects look more magnificent. So guys, let's get started. In the beginning, create a new document file. Set the width to 1920 and height to 1080. Then click on Create. Next, change the background color to black. You can use Paint Bucket tool to do it. We must make sure that our foreground color is set to black. After that, go to the toolbox and select the Type tool to type your desired text. And make sure that your font color is set to white. So type in your required text. Here I'm typing Fire. Now select the Move tool to position your text to the center and customize it if you want. Select the Blending options from FX at the bottom of the screen. A layer style box will appear. From it, select Outer Glow, then change the color to F70 300 and click on OK. Change the size to 12 or 13 and make sure the blend mode is set to screen. After that, click on Color Overlay and change the overlay color to CD7 E2E to add a fiery color to your text. Also, select Satin and set the color to 872 D0F and click on OK. Increase the opacity to 100% and make sure your blend mode is set to multiply. Set distance to 11 pixels and size to 16 pixels. Also select inner glow and change the blend mode to color dodge and the color to E5C23B. Then click on OK. Also increase the opacity to 100% and set the size to about 10 pixels and click on OK. Next we need to rasterize the text. To do so right click on the text layer and select rasterize type. Then select Erase to fade out the top part of your text. Or you can use the E key for shortcut. I prefer using the eraser with soft edges. Next, go to Filter, Distort, Zigzag, and set the amount and ridges to 4 and 4 respectively. You must make sure that the style is set to pond ripples and click on OK. After that, import the fire footage that we downloaded from the internet. Drag and drop it above the text layer using the move tool. Make sure that the fire image is selected, then select the channels tab. Hold Ctrl plus left click on the green layer to load selection of the highlighted areas and select the layers tab again. And hold Ctrl plus J to copy the selection mode. Uncheck the fire image and use the move tool to position the fire image as per your preference. Now I am going to add some customization so that it looks good. So our final fire effect looks like this. That's it for today. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time.